of a surprise, but prize fighter marching on Thermidor, crashing by the wayside. We have our four heat semi finalists then, and prize fighter's reward is a matchup against the alien. The first semi final we'll see though in this heat, Wild Thing against Napalm 2. Okay, Napalm and Wild Thing up next. Both sustained damage in the first round. What happened to you? Well, many things happened to us in our first battle. Um, both of our axes on our wheels got bent, mm -hmm. and the uh, motor, the shaft snapped on our spinner disc. So we fixed it weapon? all, and we should be all right now. Okay, yeah? Just how well it works when they actually get in there, that's the worry. These guys too, slightly traumatic first round, what happened to you? On the first round, um, we were kind of hit by one of the house robots which pushed one of our wheels out of alignment which meant we couldn't drive forward. But fortunately, Vicky remembered we can drive backwards as well. <laughs> so if you haven't fixed it as well as you thought you had, you'll just be driving backwards? backwards. And we, we'll we, know what's happened. We hope it works forwards as well. Yeah, well we hope it does too. Good luck. Thank you very much. From New Ash Green, Nepal. Hi, I'm Vicky, this is Michelle and Dave and this is Napalm 2. Napalm 2 has its wheelchair motor driven axe at the back which drives up, down, hopefully putting a few holes into a number of robots. This is our fifth successful war and this time we hope to do some real damage. damage. From Ash, Wild Thing. Hi, we're the Wild Thing team, and I'm Isabel, this is Jake and Nick. We've been here before and we've upgraded the robot so that we now have a spinner disc, and we aim to win. Robot Wars in all its destructive glory will be right back. Those metal munching maniacs are back on Robot Wars. Wild Thing improved. Looked it too. For Nick Adams, daughter Isabel and son Jake. Against David Crosby, Vicky Organ and Michelle Davy, and the Napalm Machine. There it is. Very slow in victory against Warhog. House robots will pick up anything loose, anything vulnerable. Dead metal with the pincer and the saw. And shunt back again and hungry for more metal mayhem. Three, two, one. Activate. Wild thing. First out of the traps, slamming straight into Napalm. 100 kilos, both machines. Napalm stopped in its tracks. We need to see some movement from Napalm. Wild thing here. That disc does look very potent. Crumpling in on the side of Napalm and the titanium hull. And Napalm is going nowhere very, very fast. Again, Wild thing attacking. The fang of Napalm drops slowly, ponderously. Is on to Wild Thing, onto the arm that they use as a streamer. Vicky, who loves her computer programming, want to program a response from Napalm. Nothing coming so far from the team from New Ash Green. There goes the pit release button, activated by Wild Thing. And now they're shaping for a push here. Push and shove Napalm all the way towards the arena stride wall, dodging the pit momentarily, but not for long. And that was on the guards from the word activate, disappearing in a cloud of steam. Napalm, Wild Thing the winners. Napalm never really got going. Wild Thing, do the Wild Thing and go through. Never really got going, did it? No, it wasn't working. <laughs> it wasn't working? No. So you were just like lambs to the slaughter, basically? Oh, I put in it, yeah. Uh, what went wrong? Why wasn't it working? I think their first hit must have knocked something and just... Something's been knocked out, yeah. And you ended up in the pit? Good place to be. <laughs> Safer. Yeah, safe place to be. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Napalm! You flew to the heat finals. Happy about that? Yeah. Think you can go much further? Um, well, yeah, we, the robot's working okay. It's quite quick and manoeuvrable. It's so very manoeuvrable. Yeah, so um, that's one advantage we've got. So we'll keep on at it. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise the roof for Wild Thing.